Hello, I'm Sally Hunter. This little chap here, do you know his name? He's called Humphrey and Lottie's here as well. And I write the stories and I draw the pictures for the Humphrey's Corner storybooks. So basically, I'm Humphrey's mummy. So we're here today to say a big thank you to you because I'm hoping you're all sitting there in your pyjamas and your nighties on a Humphrey's Corner PJ week. And just so you know, at the same time as having fun, you're also raising money for poorly children with a charity called the Children's Trust. Now then, we've got a really, really cool guy who's going to read you some stories. And guess what? You're going to know who he is. And he's coming right now. Humphrey's Special Day by Sally Hunter. It was a special day. Humphrey was going for tea with his little friend, Frankie. Frankie had an accident, so he was in a wheelchair. He was staying at the children's hospital and they were helping him get better. Humphrey had been very busy. He had drawn a lovely big picture for Frankie to put on his bedroom wall and helped mummy make some yummy jam tarts to take too. Come on, little love, we don't want to be late. Hey Frankie, look what I've drawn for you. Frankie really liked his picture. He put it by his bed for everyone to see. Everyone played catch the ball and then a nice nurse brought out a bubble machine. That was fun. It was warm and sunny in the garden. Humphrey met Frankie's friends, Amy and Bert. They had some visitors too. Then it was tea time. There were sandwiches, animal crackers, carrot sticks, cookies and Humphrey's jam tarts. Yum! What a lovely day. Humphrey said to mum, can we come again? Bye bye Frankie and Humphrey. See you soon. That was Humphrey's special day. I hope you liked it. This is the first Humphrey story. It's called Humphrey's Corner by Sally Hunter. Humphrey was looking for mop. He wanted to go and play, but he had to have mop. Otherwise, it just wasn't right. Humphrey found Mop and his Mooey squashed down the side of the bed. He thought the stool might be useful as well. So Humphrey put his Mooey and the little stool into a box with Mop on top so he could see where he was going and went to find somewhere interesting to play. He found some pretty colours, sploshy sounds and a house for Mop. Mop was poorly and needed his medicine but the floor was a bit hard and there was sticky stuff everywhere. It wasn't quite right. So Humphrey put his Mooey, the little stool and the bottle with pretty colours into the box with mop on top and walked away to look for somewhere cosy to play. Humphrey peeped in. It was all pink and sunny and smelled just like mummy with lots of very pretty things to look at. Mop was in a boat sailing in a sparkly blue sea, but it was a bit dark and very quiet. It wasn't quite right. So Humphrey put his Mooey, the little stool, the bottle with the pretty colours and Mummy's sparkly necklace into the box with Mop on top and walked away to look for somewhere different to play. He found a very nice hidey hole. Mop needed his afternoon rest. But there were lots of gurgly, clanky noises. Mop said he was too hot. It wasn't quite right. So Humphrey put his Mooey, the little stool, the bottle with the pretty colours, Mummy's sparkly necklace and his favourite towel with the ducks on into the box with Mop on top and walked away to look for somewhere else to play. Humphrey had a bit of a problem with the stairs and his box and because Mop was on top, he fell flop plop down the stairs. Humphrey wanted to fetch Mop but he couldn't leave his box in case that fell too. He suddenly felt tired and didn't want to play anymore. Are you alright little love? said Mummy. Mummy picked up the box, gave Mop back to Humphrey and helped them both downstairs. 
Humphrey followed Mummy into the kitchen. It was lovely and warm, with nice things on the table, and a very special place. It was Humphrey's and Mop's secret castle. Mop was a king on his throne, with jewels and treasure. It was very cosy and near Mummy. It was just right. That was Humphrey's Corner by Sally Hunter. Did you like it? Here at the Trust, we love Humphrey's PJ Week. Humphrey is three. So you're bigger than Humphrey, aren't you? You're yeah, older than Humphrey. Four. And Eeyore and <laughs> Tigger is four. The wonderful environment we have at the Trust here enables all the children to enjoy a real home from home setting whilst having all the expertise that they need to live the best life possible. Guess how old Lottie is? She's the same age as you, she's five. Let me in. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye from Humphrey and me. Bye.